Once we've established our favorites, there are things that we can do now to the thumbnails in the favorites folder to help organize them better. For example, we do have several of these images that are out of rotation. Now they should look this way. It's kind of hard to tell if I like these or not because I have to turn my head 90 degrees counterclockwise just to see them. Now obviously we can change these. If you select one, you have two buttons up here for rotating. I've got three more to do. You may have 20. I don't want to do them one at a time. So I will select them by shift clicking and then click that button again and take them all into the proper orientation. So one thing, we can make them look a little bit better simply by changing their orientation. Another thing that we can do is obviously change the sort order. Now the default is ascending order by file name. If we come up here to the word view, this is how you get it from the pull down menu. You can select here and you can go down to sort and choose from any one of these items. Like I said, ascending order file name is default, but we could sort them by type, JPEGs, GIFs, RAW files, whatever, date created or modified size, you choose whatever you want, or you can even do them manually, which we'll actually talk about later, but we can sort them differently to help us find what we need, so that's cool. We can also do this. We can assign them stars. If you select any image, you will see these little points come up underneath it. Anyone. If you come over to one of these images, you can click on that first point and drag to assign it from one to five stars. I don't know about you, but all my images are five star. Let's say we want to give all these five star at the same time. Again, select, shift click, and go over, choose any one you want, and drag across. Can we do this from the pull down menu? Of course. Go to the word label. Under the word label, there you go. You can change to however many stars you want, give it what's called a rejection, no rating at all, take the stars off, or increase or decrease the rating one at a time. Now, the shortcuts for that are like command, comma, and command period for increasing or decreasing. Remember the command key is the control key in Windows. Same key, unfortunately a different name. So we've got these by stars, and we can do this all day long. Maybe this one's only three stars, and maybe this one is four stars and we can just work and work and work. Now once we've done that, we can sort by this rating, or you can even click the star button right here, and you'll notice you can say, show me all the four or more stars, and it will show them to you, isolate them out, which is a quick way to get what you want. Let's go ahead and take that back down again, clear the filter. One more thing here, we can give them different types of labels. For example, we go to this one right here, and we come over to the word label and we go down to select, second, approved, or review, to do. If we go say select, you'll notice it puts a red box around the star area. If you want to add stars, you still can. So we can actually say select all of these plus all of these that have three or more stars. You get the idea. You can begin making complex selections to sort out exactly what you need. With that done, we have the ability to change anything we want to. However, you may not like what's up here in terms of select, second, approved, review, to do. Maybe you want one that's going to print. So you want to print. Can you change these? Yes, you can. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said that. Go to Preferences. Now, that means Adobe Bridge on a Mac, Edit on Windows, go down to Preferences. If you go to Labels right here, you can change those names. Now I have like one that says to print, I have one that says to web, I've got different ones that I use. You could change them or you could leave them alone, doesn't matter. Remember you got shortcut keys, that's the Apple or Command key on a Mac, or it's the Control key, CTRL and Windows 6789, and click OK to change them. What are we doing? We're not really doing anything to the images, we haven't impacted them at all. We just simply have changed some of the sort criteria and that makes it easier for us to look at them and work with them. Oh, incidentally, when you rotate an image, you're not really physically rotating the file. It's not resaving it in this orientation. It's only saving it this way in Bridge. If I go into the original folder where this one was, and I actually move it into another program like, say, InDesign, it will still be in that original orientation of sideways. The good news about that is it doesn't damage the image. Anytime you resave a file, you are potentially changing the pixels in the image. Bridge does not allow you to do that. If you wanted this image permanently in that orientation, you would need to open it in Photoshop. Now it would open like this, which is good, but you'd have to resave it in that orientation.
The bridge is a great organizational tool, and these are just a few more tricks to help you get it even more organized for you.